EU conspiracy theory. EU begs the people. UK comes to tourism in the latest move. The EU is expected to sign off on plans for Britons who have had both jabs to fly to Europe without having to quarantine or take a COVID test. The European Union's new plan would see member states adopting uniform entry requirements, meaning vaccinated holidaymakers from low-risk countries such as the UK would be able to enter France, Spain, Italy, and other hotspots. Britain will be included on EU expanded green list of permitted holiday travel on Wednesday, as the bloc's ambassadors are set to confirm a European Commission proposal to lift restrictions on well-vaccinated nations. It is understood. So they've literally just admitted in that article that they vaccinated 99% of the mortality risks. Yet they're now suddenly blaming unvaccinated people who aren't a mortality risk for things not opening up again. If you genuinely, honestly can't see that this isn't about a virus anymore, then there must be something wrong with you. Even if you don't agree with the conspiracy theories, surely you must feel it in your gut instinct that something isn't right. It will also be recommended that member states prepare digital portals allowing Brightons to use the NHS app as a vaccine passport. The Daily Telegraph reports. Those without vaccinations will be required to present a negative COVID test or evidence of immunity. The news comes just as a ban on non-essential travel was lifted, and Downing Street doubled down on its insistence that people should only be holidaying in the 12 countries on the green list. In a rallying cry to ministers, Sean Doyle said data on vaccination and infection rates for countries including the U.S., Spain, and Greece made a compelling case for putting them on the green list for quarantine-free travel from early next month. Yesterday, Matt Hancock came under fire over the government's travel restrictions, with one senior Tory asking what the point is of having a passport. The health secretary appeared to rule out holidays to France. Spain and elsewhere by warning, people should not travel to countries on the amber list unless they have an exceptional reason to do so. Hugh Merriman, who chairs the Transport Select Committee, said, "Given that he's just effectively turned the amber list into red, can I ask him what the point of me having my passport is anymore?" It is never too late for hope. This nightmare ends tomorrow if enough people say no. Throw the mask away and refuse to play ball. If we can come together as a country against this tyranny, the nightmare ends. No more Alice in Wonderland. We wake up to normality. It's that easy. What is your opinion on this matter? Let me know what you think, and we can discuss it. I will constantly update the latest news in the next videos. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching the video.